like some biographical information, like how you got started in comics? Uh, well, I did not read comics as a child. Uh, it's not that I was forbidden to read them, I just wasn't interested. I, uh, if there had been comic books about little girls and horses, I probably would have read them. Uh, I, I didn't get interested in doing comics until I was uh, a freshman in college. I was an art major, didn't know really what I wanted to do. And my boyfriend, now husband, Roy Richardson, showed me some comics from his collection and I really liked them. Um, he had to teach me how to read them. I didn't even know which way to read the balloons on the page. And then we went to a comic book convention and I saw professionals like Gil Kane, Bernie Wrightson, Bob McLeod, all these guys doing really amazing work, amazing drawings, and getting paid for it. And I thought that would be something I'd like to do. So I, I studied and I dropped out of school and worked up a portfolio and came to New York and, and started working for Marvel. You dropped out of school? I did. I did. Uh, well, I do dropped out of college. Uh, I was at um, University of Georgia and Georgia State. And back then, if you wanted to draw comics, uh, if you were smart, you kept your mouth shut about it. Um, it's kind of frowned upon. It's not like now I actually teach uh, part-time at Savannah College of Art and Design in Atlanta and I teach sequential art which is a fancy word for comics and graphic novels. Yeah. What, what year was that that you dropped out? Oh, it would have been about 80, 81, okay. back in the last century. Yeah, what was your first assignment at Marvel? My very first assignment was on Conan the Barbarian. Uh, it was really bad. <laughs> it was a backup story in Conan the Barbarian. But right after that, uh, I started working with Louise Simonson. We worked up a pitch for Power Pack, um, and Marvel bought it, and I started drawing Power Pack. How did you get to work with Marvel to begin with? How did you get their attention? Well, the very, very first thing I had done was for a comic, uh, a comic book company in Florida, uh, AmeriComics, um, by Bill Black. I did some work, and that, and it was published. And from that, I got a job in the DC New Talent book, and that was published. So I had something published in hand. And back then, if you wanted to get into the Marvel offices, I knew someone who worked there as basically like a secretary um, or an assistant editor and he got me in the door and then I just went from office to office knocking on the door showing my portfolio yeah. and got work. Yeah, no internet. Very, no, it was very, very different then. Uh, Americomics, that was, that was like M-Force. Yes, yeah. yes, very good. <laughs> yeah. You did a, a DC New Talent story. Uh, it was a, I can't even remember the name of it. It wasn't an existing character. Yeah. Uh, Animal but, Man. Oh, Animal Man, was no, that? Feral no, Man. Feral Man. Not, it was Feral Man was the character's name. Okay, so... It was a start. Okay. So Power Pack. Power Pack was popular. I remember it being... It was. It has a, a very a small but loyal fan yeah. following. I like it. I did too. It's still my favorite thing I've ever done in comics. Really? Yeah. Is there any... Think there'll ever be any more power pack? It's possible. Uh, the characters are still used. I know the oldest boy, Alex, is in Reed Richards. Um, um, what's it called? Uh, something Foundation. Something Future Foundation. Future. I think that's it. He's in, and, and the other characters show up every now and then. But will they ever bring the book back? Will they ever make a movie? I don't know. Yeah. There's always talk, but no action. Yeah. Well, right now, um, we kind of do a variety of things. Uh, recently, we've done uh, quite a few variant covers for Marvel, uh, an Ant-Man cover, Devil Dinosaur, uh, a new X-Men cover. Um, this is a variant cover for Scarlet Witch. and. Um, we're also doing a book for DC. It's in, it's in uh, partnership with General Mail Cereals, and it'll be in cereal boxes, which is actually kind of cool. And then we are also doing a comic strip. We've taken over a comic strip. Wait. 
because when you go to conventions, you always have to bring work with you. Um, this is in progress. It's a comic strip called uh, Mary Worth. Oh, Mary Worth. So the uh, artist, Joe Giella, after 25 years, he's finally decided that eight, at age 87, he's going to slow down, and so he's retired. And uh, my husband and I have taken over the art chores on that. And then I, I do, and then I teach part time. I do some illustration work. Do illustrations for Horse and Rider magazine. I'm sure you all Horse read Horse and Rider. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much. Well, thank you. Please remember to press that like button. It helps my videos get seen. And then subscribe so you can come back next time. I do science fiction book, TV, and movie reviews all the time. And please consider becoming a patron. There's a link in the description below.